Um, just moving on and talking a little bit about the transition, me transition methods, there are two transition methods under this standard, and here we've outlined some of the pros and cons of each of those. Uh, just, to, just to talk briefly about the methodology under each so that, that this is a little more understandable, it's under the full retrospective method. Um, if you're presenting comparative financial statements, what that would mean is that each period that's presented on the face of the financial statement, so let's take a private company, for example, that's adopting on 1119, the required effective date of the standard. Uh, if you were producing comparative statements, that would mean that 2000, both 2018 and 2019 would be fully restated under 606, and you would have a cumulative effect of the change in accounting principle flowing through retained earnings as of 1231.17 or 1118.18. Um, and so um, from that perspective, you know, the, the statements would be fully under 606. Um, obviously, the pros under that methodology is that it does provide for the greatest comparability because the readers of the financial statements are looking at uh, those numbers, you know, fully adjusted under 606 and under a comparable basis. Um, the cons, there, there is, um, there's, there's some hindrance to the extent that practical expedients are elected. There are a number of practical expedients under this standard. Um, you know, that is one of the, the cons, although I don't think it's, it's all that significant. Um, I do think the, the, the larger concern there is that this methodology is more time consuming. You do have to go back in time and restate, you know, all of your contracts under 606, and this is not just a revenue standard. Costs are impacted as well. Uh, in a lot of clients that go through this, there are a number of different IT systems that might have been used. Information may have been aggregated in different ways in prior periods. So it can definitely be more time consuming and more involved uh, recognizing uh, or adopting under this full retrospective approach. Uh, the second way to adopt this standard is under the modified retrospective approach. So when you take that same example of the private company adopting on 1119, what would happen there is that if they were doing comparative financial statements, 2018 would be stated under current gap and 2019 would be under 606. The retained earnings adjustment, that cumulative effect adjustment would come into play at 1231.18 or 1119 really. And um, the, there are, the, however, disclosure requirements which require the company in their disclosures to disclose what um, what the revenue recognition and cost methodology and so forth would have been under legacy gap in the year of adoption. So really that, that requirement for those disclosures is really to enhance the comparability because readers of the financial statement will be looking at 2018 under legacy gap and 2019 under 606. So that those disclosure requirements are to bridge the gap if 2019 were under legacy gap so that you can compare with the 2018 period presented. Um, this is generally viewed as being less time consuming, obviously, because you don't have to go back and look at a number of in-process contracts or contracts that relate only to prior periods and so forth uh, that were not open on the date of adoption. Um, I do think comparability is hindered slightly because you have the face of the financial statement showing two different methodologies uh, there. Um, it does, however, require dual bookkeeping in the year of adoption, so it requires that you have two sets of books in order to comply with those disclosure requirements that we just spoke about. Uh, so really, under either standard, uh, you are either, either adoption method, you are required to maintain two sets of, of books and records uh, for some period of time, whether you're going back in time or whether you're doing that prospectively. So that's a key consideration under this standard is that requirement. Uh, to have two different sets of books for some period of time. Um, 